Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. By far the number one question that I get is uh, which AI tool to choose and what do I personally recommend and use. And this is why this uh, page on treatment.ai it's called Tools and Discounts. It consists of exclusive deals to the community. So then it goes into much detail about uh, different AI and SEO tools, be it keyword research, copywriting, on-page SEO, LSI keywords, internal linking images, grammar and plagiarism and AI detection. And as you can see, we have uh, three budget tiers. So the tools I recommend they're under 100, under 500 and under 1000. For many of these tools, I have a uh, written review, a blog review and a video as well. So starting with the under 100 uh, scenario and so you see that there is only one paid tool and I'll tell you why this is uh, in a few minutes. But first, let's go over each of the tools. So starting from the keyword research, we have the Google Keyword Planner. And Google Keyword Planner is free and it's quite good. So you can do parasitic SEO. Uh, to do that, you would start with the website. So an example would be one of my older websites about dogs, which was called and is called safeforedog.com. And you can choose to use the entire site, which we'll do, or use only one page. And as you can see, we have almost 800 keywords. And for each and every of these keywords, you have average monthly search, year-on-year -year change, competition levels. The only downside of Keywords uh, Planner uh, is that the competition level is that of paid search and not organic. But you uh, are capable of getting a lot of keyword ideas, and this is uh, one of the ways. The other way would be to start with keywords and use a seed keyword like why does my wife and then you would just get results. And again, some 200 words which you can expand upon why uh, my wife hates me. <laughs> why does my wife not love me? Well, this is quite dramatic. Why do husband and wife fight? So this is quite depressing, but still this is a way to get a lot of keywords. It can expand all the ideas. So Keyword Planner will give you suggestions to broaden your search. So if I would to choose why does my husband as well as why does my wife, which is only fair, we will immediately go from 200 to 700 words, suggesting that uh, husbands are more popular topic than wives. And this is just uh, a goldmine of keywords. And still, uh, I, I do believe that there is correlation between paid competition and organic competition. Yes, it's not 100%, but more often than not, if nobody is willing to bid on the keyword, that often means that the organic keyword difficulty is also low. So this is one of the tools. Uh, the other tools are Ahrefs, a free version, free keyword generator. So we can go with um, can docs, then just leave it as is and you get suggestions and admittedly uh, the uh, keyword difficulty of Ahrefs is the most accurate of all. So you can go for Candoxid Oranges, for example, which is a lower KD keyword. Or you can browse questions like what colors can dog see, what fruits can dog eat and so on and so forth. And you can use the same seed key phrase for the Hoth. So the Hoth is built upon uh, SEM Rush's API and uh, it will give you, compared to Ahrefs, it will give you a hundred keywords with um, keyword difficulty measurements. So Candox eat bananas, Candox eat strawberries, uh, you get a lot of information. And this KD thingy here is organic KD. And if you go to view more results, you would get another 50 keywords. Then you know from my videos probably that I'm using Keyword Chef or Rank Adam recently, but you can uh, use uh, the other two websites for free. They are called uh, the Question DB. So if you type in your seed keyword here, you get a list of keywords uh, that are often the ones that Core and Reddit are ranking for. And this is a free version that doesn't give you any metrics specifically. But you can be rest assured that many of these questions are indeed low competition. So we can try and check this keyword here. And as you can see, we have Reddit here, not on the first page, but this is uh, often a good sign. And another keyword tool that is more like Rank Adam or Keyword Chef is searchresponse.io. If you go to people also ask, go to topic, you can choose the same broad seed keyword, can docs. You would press search and then you would go to domains and look for Quora. So here is Quora. And if you click on 
this number here, you get a ridiculous number of keywords that Quora is ranking for. So for example, this one here, can you love both cats and dogs? So let's check it out. And you can see that Quora is number two and Reddit is number three. So a very low competition keyword. Um, now we go to AI copywriting and for AI copywriting for some basic stuff, you can watch my videos. I have a lot of videos on ChatGPT. You can use the free version without the plugins and you can use Claude. So Claude is quite amazing because it has this larger context window. So it can reference large documents as well. And if you use smart prompting, like uh, using uh, lists and tables uh, and key takeaways, you get something like this completely for free, uh, which should be actually passing air detection. So let's scan this document. So it's 56% original, not the best score, but this was a very basic prompt. And the longer the outputs, the more original it is going to be. And if you go to my channel, to playlists, I have a whole list, a playlist dedicated to Claude. So currently it consists of eight videos. And you can do some crazy things with Claude. So you can write a 25,000 words short story. You can create a massive 5,000 word listicle. You can do SEO optimization with Claude. So many, many, many different things. And Claude is available to many countries now and it's completely free. Now to the first AI copywriting tool that is paid. And we're talking about the SEO writing. The pricing starts with only 12 bucks and uh, to get 250 articles, you only pay $38 per month. And this is what I have chosen. And they've had some amazing, amazing improvements uh, to their algorithm, which I'll go uh, over in a minute. So let me log in real quick. So let's do something fun. Uh, spiritual meaning of the name Vlad, which is my name. Now, the main reason I recommend SEO writing for the lowest budget is because SEO writing takes care of a lot of things. So first of all, it takes care of on-page SEO. So the title is always going to contain the main keyword. It's always going to be under 60 characters. And this is what needed for SEO. Then for the article size, you have four choices. You can have very short article and we'll just go with uh, small, I think. Uh, you can choose a casual tone of voice because this is going to translate to better readability, point of view, Let's pick none, target country, United States. Here, if you have any CTAs like addresses or phone numbers or links, you can insert them here. Then, and this has been the biggest improvement. So for this SEO writing, all the images are now free. So let's choose three images, image style or cinematic. You can choose the image size. Now you can also do YouTube embeds. And for the layout option, we'll alternate between images and video. Also, SEO writing takes care of your SEO optimization. So you can use the suggested entities and keyword variations. Now it gives you already a highly readable structure with FAQs, key takeaways, quotes, tables, and conclusions. They have the connect to web option, which makes every article factual. Let's just publish it on one of my websites, science and clues. We'll choose names as a category. We'll publish it straight up. And again, it even takes care of the slug. So by default, your URL will always be the same as your main keyword. And we'll take this to for the first image to be featured image. Let's uh, click run. So this is the article we got back from SEO writing, a pretty good uh, featured image, another image, another one, another one. And let's just say this is not what we wanted. We can now, and all the images are free, so you can now regenerate images and that's only going to be at a cost of 100 words. So you can uh, click on this prompt here. Let's just say that we are satisfied with this prompt, but we need to regenerate the image. And now the image looks different. So if you now go to rank math, you see that everything is in the green. So the focus keyword is in the title, it's in the SEO meta description, it's in the URL, it's in the first 10% of the content, it's in the content itself. So you won't believe how long it used to take me to do on-page SEO for a lot of my articles and that takes care of everything. And this is like uh, why I love SEO writing 
as it pertains to the beginners. So going back to our list, we touched upon rank math already, it's free. Then for the LSA keywords, you can reuse perplexity. And if you watch my video here, perplexity performs even better than the native LSI keywords from Neuron Writer. And all you need to do is use a very simple prompt. I think I use it here somewhere. Extract my 100 highly semantically related LSI keywords as a common separated list. And yeah, and the, this stuff just works. And perplexity is free, and you can use this to instead of new writer, for example. Then for the internal linking, you can get away with using ChatGPT. I have another video tutorial on that. So this is called ChatGPT Better Than Link Whisper, full internal linking tutorial. And here I'm showing you how to use ChatGPT to cater for your internal linking needs. That for the images. So you can go to H browser, go to image creator, and there you have it. You have your Dolly. So if you go image of a penguin holding a sign that says hello. As you can see, Dolly 3 is now pretty good with the text. There is a small typo here, but here and here we have hello and we have a penguin. And this should take care of uh, the majority of your free image generation. Now you, uh, you have your Grammarly, which you can use for grammar and plagiarism checking. For AI detection, I suggest zero GPT and copy leaks. And so if you sum everything up, you're just spending money on uh, SEO writing. And if you want, you can get my uh, access to my ChatGPT prompts library. If you don't want, that's going to be just 38 bucks per month for a suite of tools. So for every need possible. And again, SEO writing is going to cover the majority of your blogging needs. Bug publication, bug generation, on-page SEO, images, YouTube embeds, formatting. Now, for the intermediate stack, I would go for, as far as keyword research, uh, these are still going to be viable options for you to get ideas. But I would go for Rank Atom, and I have a video tutorial about Rank Atom. In this tutorial, I'm showing you how I managed to rank in three hours. And the beautiful thing about Rank Atom is that it calculates weak spots. So uh, keywords for which Quora, Reddit and low DA websites are ranking for, as well as KGR. And using this combined two field and technique, uh, I was able to rank in three hours for uh, pretty good keywords. So I would suggest you go for Rank Adam and it has a an LTD currently on AppSumo, at least at the time of the recording. Then I would go for ChatGPT Pro just for the uh, Dolly and for the Code Interpreter. And I have a lot of videos about Code Interpreter and uh, one of the tools that I have on my website, directing a lot of traffic, is the Torrington Score Estimator, and I was able to create a Torrington Score Estimator with ChatGPT alone. Uh, then I would go for Agility Writer. So uh, people ask me all the time about the difference between Agility Writer and SEO Writing, and I keep uh, repeating the same stuff. SEO Writing is beautiful images, very easy UX, great on-page SEO, great bulk production, but when it comes to Agility Writer, you just have a lot of features. So you have different modes and you have just so many things that you can tweak. So you can choose uh, the levels of factuality uh, to, from non-factual to custom factual data when you insert the URLs. You can choose the, the mix of uh, GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. You can you have the advanced anti-AI detection mechanism to pass originality and turnitin. You have custom instructions. So if you watch my video about auto EET, you'll know that I'm using uh, a special prompts to insert uh, EAT signals into every intro that I'm writing. You can insert your outside keywords. You can uh, have YouTube embeds. Uh, you can internally link up to 50 URLs. You can add authority links. You can generate images. So a lot of things. Uh, and so admittedly, Agility Writer is on a, a more expensive uh, site. But for my money website, for my money posts, I still use Agility Writer more than I do SEO Writing. And SEO Writing is perfect for highly visual, non yl niches uh, and testing out different niches as well. So uh, we've touched for rank math. We kind of covered perplexity. For the intermediate budget, I still think that you can get away with using perplexity, uh, the free version for OSI keywords only. Now for the internal linking. So a few uh, weeks ago, I found this tool, which is called Link Boss, which blows Link Whisper out of field. 
it's amazing it's great and i invite you to watch my review it's uh, capable of creating different style structures it creates beautiful anchor text and it just makes uh, my life so much easier so i highly recommend link boss for internal linking it's currently it used to be on ltd uh, now it's back on a monthly but the ltd is incoming it's gonna be in november maybe early december so watch out for that for the intermediate budget i still prefer the free versions of image generators uh, but you can invest in grammarly pro uh, if you want so you don't have to and for the ai detection you can use originality just uh, 10 usd will last you a while and i still like to use originality to this day especially when i'm checking uh, academic work or writing uh, for my clients that do require for me uh, to pass originality.ai and this comes down to uh, we have one-time payments on recurrence so rank atom uh, originality in Grammarly Pro would be one time. ChatGPT and Agility and LinkBoss would be recurring, and this comes down to 500, under $500. And again, uh, when LinkBoss goes on LTD, that's going to be less. Now, for the advanced tool stack, I would still go with Ahrefs. I use Ahrefs every day, and you have some very creative use cases for Ahrefs, like this video here which is called Unlock 10 Profitable Low Competition Niches. This is where I'm using Ahrefs to unlock a variety of highly profitable and untapped niches. And this can be, can be done uh, with Ahrefs. It's on a more expensive side. I have a standard plan, which is 179 monthly. And I combine it with Rank Atom, and this covers like 100% of my keyword research needs. I also use Perplexity Pro just for the uh, this reason here. So Perplexity Pro has Claude and GPT-4 inside of it. So you can, you can now use uh, both Perplexity's uh, proprietary model as well as GPT-4 and Claude. And this op opens up so many opportunities. So I'm personally, I have a subscription to both ChatGPT Pro and Perplexity and Agility Writer. But for Agility, I'm recommending a higher tier. For the on-page SEO, Rank Math is still free. For the LSI keywords, you can use Neural Writer. I do use Neural Writer occasionally. It's still on the LTD on AppSumo, but you, don't, you absolutely don't have to. For the internal linking, my recommendation is still LinkBoss for the images. I would still use the free uh, versions of Dolly or Dolly inside of ChatGPT, but I would invest in Canva Pro. So Canva Pro is very handy when it comes to infographics, editing your images, creating thumbnails, featured images, and so on and so forth. Then for originality, I would just go for a little bit more this time around. So this is a typo. I'll go for 50 USD instead. And I would still go for Grammarly Pro because it aids in readability. And all in all, uh, this array of tools uh, split between one time recurring is gonna eat away $1,200. But of course, you don't have to use Grammarly. For example, you can use a lower tier of agility. You don't have to use NeuroWriter. So effectively, this becomes uh, something under $1,000 dollars out of which only 500 is recurring and uh, the rest is one time and this is it guys so once again these are my recommended tools for three budget tiers under 100 under 500 and under a thousand please let me know if you have any questions like share and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time